In this video, we're going to use the binomial distribution and stack crunch to compute a probability. So the question is over here, number three. It says, at a particular school, it is known that typically 65% of students pass biology. So we're told that P is equal to 0.65. Either a student passes biology or does not. So there's two possible outcomes. In a class of 40 students, that's our N, so N is equal to 40, find the probability that at least 30 pass biology. So this is clearly a binomial distribution problem because there's two possible outcomes. You either pass biology or you do not pass. P is given as this percentage, so 65%, and N is 40, it's the total number of students. So all we do is we go to stat crunch up here where it says stat, and then we go to stat, calculators, and then we go to binomial. So again, we go to stat, then we go to calculators, and then we go to binomial. When you click this, we should have a funny window, and we do. Here n in our problem was 40, because we had 40 students. p is the probability of success. In this problem, success is passing biology, so 0.65. And we want at least 30 students to pass biology, so at least 30. So you change this here to greater than or equal to and then you enter the 30 in this box here. So we have n is equal to 40 because we have 40 students. The probability of success is 0.65. That's given here as a percentage. And we want at least 30, so greater than or equal to, to pass biology. So all we do now is click the compute button and we should have the answer. And there it is, 0.12 is the probability that at least 30 students pass biology. Let me do it one more time. You go to stat, calculators, and then you go to binomial. You plug in your value of n, which was 40. The probability of success was 0.65. And you want at least 30 students to pass. So greater than or equal to 30. And then you just click compute, and there is the answer. I hope that made sense.